What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Rebirth! My name is Barrow's Boy, but you already knew that. Let's get it going. I got Golden God. I've done a lot of this game off stream. And this is the first actual episode I'm recording off stream. So we need to do a devil kill with Judas. Don't let me forget. I just got carried hard and through big time. There's your seed. RQTZ and CQZ in case you wanted it. Um, I wish I had the seed to my last run so I could play it again and like prove to myself that I should probably not take Tiny Planet after completing the boss rush because that was that was stupid. I had I had all the things I had all the things and I just threw them away. And not to mention in the middle of recording that run, I uh, I muted my mic to cough and forgot to unmute it. And uh, so yeah, it was a good we had good talk we really did. It was a good video actually pretty great. The carry was real. Um, and then I threw by taking Tiny Planet. I want Tiny Planet to be good just so desperately. I just, I want it to be good and it was, it's, it's not. It's just not. We'll get a famine fight which is great early on. I'm down with some famine fights. Um, I, oh, tch, god. Almost, again, the throws. There's no reason to ever take damage on a, a freaking basement boss when you are Judas because the Book of Belial it's just way too damn strong. And speaking of which, I had the battery for the first time last run. And boy, is the battery cool in Rebirth. Oh, throws. Throws! He's... Huh. We're gonna pretend that didn't happen. Welcome to episode three. Let's play the Binding of Isaac. Just after I got done saying there's no excuse. Terrible. Terrible, terrible. Anyway, the battery is really cool in this game. Basically, instead of passively regenning your spacebar item, there's an interesting little room here. Um, I think I will try to get this tinted rock as well as the spirit heart. Can we do that? Yeah, we can. Um, I'm gonna try my best to actually not pick those up just yet. Although having three of them, well, this is this is seller one. It doesn't really matter. Eh, let's just take them. Um, basically, you can get passive stacks. You can get like second charges starting to build up on your spacebar item, which is amazing. So I could use the Book of Belial twice per room. And obviously, if you know the Book of Belial, that thing stacks like a motherfucker. So it was kind of awesome. And I had the nun's habit. So in, like, tough rooms, shit just died in, like, literally two tiers. Especially with, like, Proptosis, like, mul several damage upgrades. It was... It was crazy. It was crazy. We'll grab an HP up. Uh, one of the rare ones that doesn't actually fill your heart... And you pick it up. And of course I'll do this. Maybe find the super secret room. Actually might not have been close enough. I'm not sure. We'll go ahead and grab this double bomb as well. Maybe get a scent. That we will. Looking good on consumables. <laughs> Gotta say I'm very happy with consumables this run. And we'll grab ourselves a familiar in the form of Isaac's head trinket. Forever alone attack fly. I'm a big fan of this one. Does tons of damage. All of the... Uh, the orbitals appear to do lots of damage in this game, so I'm definitely psyched to have this one. He ought to be super strong. Ought to be super strong. Well, there's our first floor. We could do some searching for the secret room, but knowing the cellar and basement, who knows? We'll give it a shot. We'll get lucky. And we'll grab two keys. Definitely worth the bomb. Definitely worth it. So now we're guaranteed our shop, access to our shop. And you know what? Why not? Why not do this? I'm gonna get some money. But we don't. That's okay. Anyway, as I was saying, we are guaranteed access to our shop and item room. Most importantly, item room, because we don't have the money for the shop. But it's all good. It's all good in the hood. I feel like this run ought to be terrible, just because of what I just gave up. The massive carry that was my last run. And yeah, I'll take an eternal heart. Apparently... This game just wants me to win with Judas. And it's just the first time I've seen one of these guys. Cool. It's always cool to see the rare enemy types. Just just cuz. Just cuz. You know. Um, I would love, I would love, love, love to fight a horseman here. Somehow I doubt that's going to happen. But I would love it. More keys. Mo better. All stats up then shuffled. One of my favorite items actually. We didn't do too badly. We still have three damage. We have decent tier rate. What did we lose? 
Looks like we lost our range. Or maybe our tier rate, actually. Yeah, it looks like we lost our tier rate. That's fine. Lots of tiers up items in this game, so I'm totally okay with that. We ended up getting a damage upgrade out of it, I think. So that's good. I'm actually a fan of that item, especially early on. And all stats up, even if it does end up scrambling all you've worked for, usually ends up pretty nicely. And this is the first time I've actually fought the Blighted Ovum on his floor. I've not gotten it. Oh, God. So he's fast still. We gotta be very careful about that creep. Thankfully, only took one damage. Got meat! And a deal with the devil, which contains Guppy's Collar and Lord of the Pit, as well as... Ooh, two of the same pill. Oh! A halo of flies! Amazing. Um, we're in a very interesting predicament here. I think I'm gonna take the collar. Give ourselves maybe an extra life. It's like a 50% chance, as far as I know. Um, and obviously a Guppy item, which... Hey, never shake your head at an early Guppy item. Seller 1, we've got a Guppy item? You never know, man. The kitty awaits. Thank you, Isaac's head. Much appreciate that. Um, so we're going to look for, hopefully, our secret room here. I'd like for it to be here. But it won't be. So it's probably to our left. Let's check out the curse room first. We'll get some spiders. I do like that uh, when you come into this curse room with the spiders, you do actually... It does count as a room with fighting. So you do get consumable drops at the end of it all. It's at least a nice little consolation. That sucks. Like I said, you never know. You never know with the basement. And I'm kind of upset I came in here because I can't afford the humble bundle. So, question is, is this a pretty fly pill? Let's go for it. It is not. Shit. Paralysis. Alright, well, it's, that's fine. I may have just thrown all my money away, but that's alright. Still have bombs. Still have plenty of keys. Let's just pop back in here. I always like to just check up on little Satan. Oh, and the tinted rock. Shit. <laughs> I knew it was there, too. I'm sorry. It's all right. Let's pop right into our curse room here. Two black hearts. Good times. Let's see what else we got going on. Sorry about that. Um, getting them messages on them messaging things, you know? You got you to gotta check your messages. Don't ignore your friends. And when you only have one... Not true. I have at least three. Okay. Let's see if we can get the attack fly doing some things. Kind of expected that to kill him, but that's okay. Maybe we'll be Lord of the Flies. I don't know how many items or what kinds of items you need, but I know there is a new transformation in Rebirth called Lord of the Flies. Not sure what you actually get out of the whole deal, but you become a little fly dude. I know that. I guess you end up getting flying. We do have two pretty flies. And, uh, and an attack fly, so... I don't know, it feels like... Tears down. Oh, that is not what I needed. Looks like we're at, like, the lowest tier rate anyway, so... I think, think that didn't actually do anything. Which is, which is nice to hear, really, believe me. Thankfully, Isaac's tier is keeping our, uh, our tier rate nice. And, of course, Book of Belial. We, our tiers are very damaging right now. Lucky Toe. Luck up. Um, let's carry this with us, see how we do without Isaac's head for just a little bit. Just kind of gauge where we're at. Okay, we're, we're doing pretty well, actually. Those guys die in two hits. Ooh, attack fly, putting in work. Oh, these guys are tough. These guys are tough customers. Go attack fly, go. Nickel. Haven't found our item room yet, but we have a Book of Blau charge. Why not fight Mr. Chad? Kind of a disappointing boss draw. Chad always drops little Chad. The only reason this would be great is if we can get a dark bum from the deal with the devil. And that sounds so wrong, but so right. Those of you who know the dark bum, know. You know. Dark bum's just the greatest. He will go down pretty much without a fight. Talk about you, little Chad. We'll take the pentagram. Damage up. I'm always a fan. And I guess we'll take little Chad. <sighs> Sigh. <laughs> he gives kisses. Probably my favorite, favorite cutscene of, uh, of Super Meat Boy. Just, it's just hilarious. Kiss me. 
Got our item room. We will get the BBF, which is actually one of my favorite fly. We have three. We have so many fly items. Come on, Lord of the Flies. Where you at, man? I don't know how many you need. This one of those things that I've definitely stayed in the dark about. So I have, I have no idea. How close? How far away? I have no idea. I don't even know if these items count towards it. Double bomb. I'm a fan. No tinted rocks. Check out our last room of the cube. So our priority right now, our damage is fabulous. Um, right now, we are short on one thing and one thing. Well, thank you, BBF. See, he, he just comes he just comes to play. Dude is just a stud. And thank you, Troll Bomb. Oh, glorious. Luck is still on our side. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so Seeker Room should be working as intended, although we do have to have access, so I'm going to guess it's not there, seeing as there's a bunch of water and rivers and a whole bunch of nonsense. Um, yeah, sure, why not? We have the Book of Belial, and that was so, so worth it. Holy shit. But that's right, back to the BBF. He's great. He unintentionally blows some things up from time to time, like finding the secret room in the middle of your fights. Like, come on. Dude is a stud. I like that this run started out with me totally, like, going back on my word of, like, dying to famine <laughs> and being like, there's no excuse for dying this early. Oh, and apparently this, like, locked itself back up. That's unfortunate. Um, but no matter. Get this chest. Why not? Um, start off with this run just being really just awful, where I just kind of, like, was a dumbass. And then we jump right back in, and now everything I say is, like, actually coming true. And, you know, I feel vindicated, basically. Uh, we now have enough to check out the shop. And we will not be disappointed. I believe this is more options. Excellent. I love this. This is a pretty fly. Beautiful. Three orbitals. Um, so the deal with more options is I'm going to go ahead and try to get some more pills here. Just let's see what's going on. No pills. Too bad. We'll just peep in here. How you doing? Still got that missing page thing. That basically, like, you get down to, like, you take damage. You might get an Necronomicon. I think that's what it does. I'm not sure. I don't like it that much. Regardless. Moving on. Anyway. What was I saying? Something I don't remember. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Shit. That'll happen. Oh, hello. Rosary bead. Faith up. A faith up trinket. Interesting. Well, we've already taken a pentagram, so I don't think I don't think faith is going to help us out much. And another another crummy, unfortunately crummy. Oh, okay, not so crummy. Um, unfortunately, crummy curse room. Although the dime is nice. Hello, lust. You can't touch this. I'm the gingerbread man. Bad trip, that's alright. We know it's in the rotation now. Better now than at, at crunch time. Thank you, BBF. These shots are very homing. One of the things I've noticed about these rooms is that you cannot just, like, expect to stand back here and come down here. If all four are spawned, you're gonna get hit by one of them if you just try to pull that off. Only two hits each. That's beautiful. Especially since I fucking hate Cubones. They are awful. Probably one of my least favorite, if not my least favorite new enemy in Rebirth. Get exploded. Oh, get exploded! Ooh, that's gonna be damage. Yeah, you know what? Just just take my heart. It's all good. You'll just kill all your friends. BBF, if you could, uh, if you could do what you did that last room with these dudes, that'd be swell. Almost caught him. Now that guy up there is gonna be trouble. You... Get back in line. Our damage is phenomenal right now, I must say. Um, still no item room, but we have found our boss room here. I'm a little nervous because right now, a lot of our damage, unfortunately, is coming from Big Beautiful Fly. I need a tears up, and I need it bad, which is kind of why I've been spamming pills a little bit. Usually I'll get a couple good pills, and I'll just kind of say, all right, you know what? We don't need him anymore. Thank you, BBF. Um, this fight is just a joke. <laughs> Don't 
Take damage like a dummy. Get yourself a halo. All stats up. I'm always a fan. And we'll get a Krampus fight. So there's there's a bit of a tears up, as well as a damage up. Kind of the best of both worlds, really. Um, and obviously we'll get Krampus here, which could very well end up being a damage up. Our range is... How's our range doing? Our range is not the greatest. Um, but Lump of Coal will be nice. I don't know what triggers the difference between getting the Krampus head and the Lump of Coal, but lately it's all it's just all coal. It's all I've been getting. Let's open the shop just to see. Might as well take a look. I'm definitely interested in the blue map, especially with our bomb count right now. So if we can grab four cents by the end of this floor, you damn well bet I will be purchasing that map. And this room, I am a huge... I hate this room because there is nothing you want to do more with these guys, these little these little dudes that chase you, than just run away in circles. And those turrets make that very hard. Thankfully, I think I got bailed out multiple times by my pretty flies. Did I just take damage? What the hell? I think I did. Oh god, I don't know what that is. Please don't be bad. Juicy sack. Sticky babies. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Alright, so I guess that's a, that's a slow. Interesting. I like it. I like a lot of the uh, the new trail items, I guess you could call them. Some of them are rather interesting. I think that's, uh, you know, ow, fuck. Good thing there's just hearts everywhere on this floor. Um, I'm a big fan of these, these little, and apparently it lays, it gets, it's giving me blue spiders as well, I think. At least it looks that way. Um, do I have anywhere else to go? I don't. Unfortunately, we can't afford, well, not yet can't afford the blue map just yet, but I was going to say we can now. Um, this is a spacebar item that's a card mimic. I definitely don't like it. So we're defi it's definitely better than the Book of Belial, for sure. Shame we couldn't pick up the sense necessary. We could. Oh, you know what? You know what we're going to do? We only need two cents, and the blue map is kind of amazing. It's not like the... See, basically, they nerfed the normal map, this guy over here. Um, and instead, wow, we'll get four cents out of it. Um, and we see the secret rooms now with the blue map, whereas before, the normal map would show you the layout of the floor as well as one of the secret rooms, the normal secret room. But instead now, oh, that's, that's a shame. Um, instead now, the blue map shows you both secret rooms and the normal map simply shows you just the layout. You don't get the secret room with it. So the normal map's not quite as strong anymore, because um, one of the reasons you definitely picked it up was for the secret room. Like, 100%. So it's definitely not as good now. The blue map is very strong, though. I'm, I'm a big fan. That's gonna... BBF, man. BBF. I'm actually gonna touch my gamma up here just a little bit. I'm sure it's already kind of hard for you guys to see. Especially seeing as... Oh, that's much better. Holy smokes. Um, oh, see, look at, dude, he's such a stud. Look at him go. He just blows shit up, and you're like, yeah, okay. Lovely little chest there. Nothing much else in here, though. We will check out our secret room. Could be Greed. Actually, I don't know if Greed shows up in, I think he does. Yeah, speak of the devil. You do show up in secret rooms. Confirmed. I'm pretty sure I'd run into him before. I was just forgetting. Lots of money. Might be able to top off the donation machine. We do have to get up to 999 cents eventually. So, making progress there is is always a good thing. Uh, and that's interesting. So we'd need two bombs to get over there to get um, Whip Worm, I think that is. As well as the chance of opening that golden chest. Um, doesn't really Doesn't really seem like a good idea to me. Ha. Uh, Another one of those. Another predicament here. Do we open that golden chest? We have a lot of keys. I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm a big fan of golden chests. And another guppy item. We're well on our way. Two guppy items. Definitely worth it. Who knew guppy items could come in golden chests? I certainly did not. I'm a big fan of guppy's head, by the way. If there's, like, spacebar items that I think are, like, underappreciated, guppy's head is certainly one of them. Flies are just so strong. 
fuck these rooms. I hate them. I hate them. Tech 2. So I believe we... And here's the interesting thing with Tech 2. So we don't keep our tiers. We completely got rid of our tiers. And we were pretty strong. Let's be honest. Um, so that's an interesting pickup. I, I would have definitely been... You know, if I could have said... You said to me, you can keep your tiers for sure. Um, definitely would have taken Tech 2. I don't know if I would have taken it knowing that I lose my tiers. But that's the interesting thing with Technology 2 now is it? Oh, no, I still have tiers. Okay, so... Yeah, this is definitely... I'm definitely okay with this, then. Oh, God, what? Hello? There's supposed to be, a, like, a rock there. So I just have to take gam damage to get through here. I see there's hearts on the sides. So, like, it guarantees that you can heal up. That's... How swell. How nice of you, game. Screw me over, kind of, but at least offer the health in return. Okay. I'm like, oh, I'm kind of okay with that. <laughs> Keyword kind of. Let's check out this room. It is a shop. And this is, I believe, like, strong friends, maybe? Hive mind. Giant spiders and flies. I am the Lord of the Flies! Oh, shit! I don't know what that means. I have flying. Uh, I have... I, t I t How many fly items did we get? Attack fly. We got three pretty flies. Um... We got BBF, and then I guess it's three fly-related items. Pretty flies probably don't count, would be my guess. Well, fucking hell. We're the Lord of the Flies, mate. That's awesome. First time I've been the Lord of the Flies. I don't really know what to expect other than that I can fly and apparently avoid brimstone shots. Uh, that was incredibly lucky. That's going to be our first boss room. We are most certainly not eligible for the boss rush. Oh, fucking eternal heart. Yeah, man. Let's go buy the spirit heart now to protect that just a little bit. Let's go fight our boss. I think that's really all we want to do on this floor now. We don't need to finish the floor. Shit. We'll just kill Loki. Don't take damage. Do not take damage. Cat of nine tails. Or a health up. You know I'm going with the damage up. Will we see a guppy item? Can we be the cat and the Lord of the Flies? Are we? We're a little kitty. <laughs> oh my God! We can be it all. And let's just take the mark, cause mo damage is mo better. Uh, we are gonna leave that the knife because I like. I don't think we can afford it. So we're now Lord of the Flies and Guppy. What is even happening? We should be in a pretty good position. That being said, we only have three health, two spirits hearts backing it up. We haven't really tested our. Oh, we're, we're okay. We do fine. We have, we're fine. We have like big spiders. It things are going okay. <laughs> Let's make sure we're checking for tinted rocks because now is the time. Our build is set. We are very concerned now with actually setting up for the future. Building defensively. We've got three orbitals, obviously, but we need to stock some health. That is, at least for me, goal numero uno at this point. And I'll just cross the room, kill these things. Hopefully not take any stupid damage. That would be ideal. So we're a little guppy. We got little, <laughs> we got little wings. Look at our little wings. <laughs> That's hilarious. What do we got? Item room. Defensive items. Spider baby. Spider revenge. I have no idea absolutely no clue. Uh, I think it gave us some blue spiders. I have no idea. Oh, you know what? No, I don't know. I have no idea. No idea what that did. Oh, okay. So at the end of the room, we got two spiders. Interesting. I think, I'm, I'm guessing that's what it's doing. It looks like, from a visual standpoint, it looked very much like a spider version of Mulligan. You know, it's a spider, a picture of a spider with, uh, with a heart over it. So I'm guessing it's the spider version of Mulligan. Pretty simple. Um, not quite, not working quite the same as I would have expected, though. Obviously, the uh, Mulligan works, you know, as your tears hit, whereas this appears to be working. Oh, game! You just again the blue map, man. Just I'm gonna give credit to the blue map on that one. Just until you know, I'm gonna stay away from pills. I'm a little scared of pills right now. There's a reason speedrunners and normal Isaacs tend to not take pills. It's because they're sketchy as hell. We did skip 
our shop. We also skipped our normal secret room. So I think I'm going to go at least check out the shop. And that was absolutely a good call. We can also grab ourselves a spirit heart. Again, stocking up for the future. Always a good idea. I do want to now check out the secret room. And maybe even clear some more rooms. Why the hell not, right? If we can get some more consumables, I'm, I'm all about that. Obviously, we just picked up like a shit ton of bombs. How is that not worth it? We should be able to... There's just a bomb sitting in this room. Good for me for leaving that. <laughs> Secret room will be just a battery. And a penny. A pity penny. Why not? Alright, here's a good test of our damage. How fast do the hearts go down? Pretty fast. And our tears do much more damage than tech 2. No secret rocks there. Move on to our last room here, which should go down in seconds. And we'll get the monkey paw. Um, I believe the monkey paw gives you... This is from what I understand. Gives you... Um, gives you like three, maybe three. It might even not be that. But gives you some... Let's just, let's just paint this with broad strokes. Gives you some spirit hearts, or rather black hearts, um after you get down to like half a heart and it can happen in like multiple times in a room I believe uh, we do want mom to maybe stomp this secret rock for us that'd be great thank you darling oh this laser is just laserific boom uh, and again we we're, we're going down to we're going down to shoal we need a shoal kill a um, couple interesting things in here do we want to sacrifice a heart for any of them I don't think so I love I think it's toxic baby I'm not sure what his actual name is uh, but I don't want him I don't not when I'm creating flies myself <laughs> he's a, he's a lovely familiar any other case that I'm like not guppy I'm probably taking him but in this circumstance um, I think he's got to stay on the ground look at these flies they're massive and they're doing so much damage is fantastic. Did I even use Book of Belial on that last room? Did I just completely neglect to do that? I think I did. More spirit hearts, more money. Uh, we can't do really anything in this room. We also have Curse of the Unknown, which is um, not my favorite. I do... Uh, do I want to even go to the dice room? It's going to be two keys for probably something that I'm going to instantly go, nah, don't, don't want to do that. So we'll just clear the room up to that point. Uh, I'm not even going in there. The dice rooms are scary late game. Unless you really need to suddenly be carried, I'm not a big fan of going in those rooms because you never know. It could just be, you know, some of them re-roll the floor. Some of them are like forget-me-nows. Um, they all do, all six of the dies do different things. Bad trip. Might be decent to hang on to. It obviously does become a full health pill eventually. So that's uh, that's good. That's a good pickup, actually. Check our secret room here. I don't know what I want from these secret rooms. I guess money. <laughs> we don't really need it. We're past the point where we're going to find a donation machine, so it's not really useful for us. Oh, gurglings. You're so funny. Uh, and I did end up skipping our super secret room. I will. I should go back for it. Knowing knowing our luck with super secret rooms this run, I really should go back. So I will. Let's, let's, uh, let's, this is just womb one, or utero one, I suppose. So we'll just go ahead. That is an awful trinket. It's mom's toenail. Basically makes it so that a mom foot stomps down randomly. Um, it can stomp you, which is a bad time. Also, I don't know if tech is supposed to work like this, but like, I don't know if you guys saw that. It felt like I was going through the rocks at some point there. I don't know. It looked like it. Anyway, moving on. Let's go grab our super secret room. Might as well, again, we might as well just clear everything. We do so much damage. Um, judgy. Hey, yeah, you can give me some HP. That'd be pretty useful right now. Or a card. Lover's card. Okay. Uh, the bean. Not something I want right now. But thank you for the offer. I appreciate you not, you know, wasting my time with it. You know. Judgey got in and out. He was just like, you know what? I'm going to give you this item really fast. You're probably not going to want it. And I appreciate that. I really do. So we'll grab a bomb here. And we'll scroll on down. We, oh man, that 
It's another judgy, and the, the demon judgment is so tempting. I don't know how much health I have, though. We could, like, I know I have three. Uh, yeah, it's, it's way too risky. He's taken one heart every time. It's just not worth it. Demon judgments got hit with the nerf stick a little bit. I, at least it feels like. They don't, they're not nearly as useful as they used to be. They're give like, the last times I've played them, they've given me normal items as opposed to, say, deal with the devil items, um, which is what the old ones used to do. So I'm definitely much less inclined to throw everything I've got. And you know what? Let's actually use our Book of Belial so that we're, you know, taking advantage of all we got. Flying makes this, uh, makes this fight comical. And, uh, it is comical. We'll get glove, blood clot, range up, damage up. Check out our deal with the devil. We will certainly take two free hearts. And we don't want the nail. Oh no, we don't. Although, switching to the nail now would not have been a terrible idea. I will say that. I think that would have been a solid defensive play. As far as I know, the Tinted Rocks actually have X... Oh, God. Shit just went down. There's a fistula over there somewhere. Not really sure where. But Tech 2. Tech 2 knows. many flies and they're all massive. This is the greatest. I'm a big fan. Alright. I god I cannot get out of the habit of trying to shoot those skulls. I know they don't take damage, but I still I just can't help it. Thank you, various minions. <laughs> There's a lot of shit going on on screen right now. It's kind of ridiculous really. And red poop. Gotta watch out for that red poop. That's a very easy way to just take some damage. Same with lasers. But flies are OP, so I don't have a problem with it. Another red chest super secret room. We will max out our health. Nice. Uh, anywhere else I really want to go? I could have gone to the secret room. I probably should have. But honestly, folks... This one's over. Oh. Wow. Wow. What? I guess the power of the flies, man. So we have, as far as I know, let's just... Uh, can we tell that it's the negative in the picture? Probably not. But we have the negative, and we're after the devil. We need a devil kill, and we could grab ourselves a lost kill. So let's do that. We want to go to the left. To the left. Oh, you think so? You think so? So satisfying that those guys with, like, high damage just can't do anything to you. It's a good feeling. Uh, this is an interesting room. In fact, I really like these rooms because the chance of getting a good, uh, a good pill, you never know. Mystery pills, tears down pill, bad trip. Oh, we have two bad trips. What is this? Health down. Okay, so <laughs> like I said, the potential is there. Doesn't necessarily mean that the game is going to be nice to you. However, unfortunate, but not such a big deal, especially considering the position we are in right now. I do appreciate that those uh, those eyeball turrets are not nearly as they're much more. It's much clearer when they're uh, when they're pooping on you now. You can actually like tell when you're about to get hit, which is good. Whereas before it was uh, it was quite difficult to see that you were about to get, you know, messed with. Let's not let those guys free. And we will have quite a tough room actually by Isaac standards. But we're fucking fed is what we are. We'll place a lovely little bomb there for the fallen. Oh, we missed. Whatever. Doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter. Look at my tears. My tears are, like, if you can see those big red things flying out of me and just see the damage that they are doing. It's a good time. And again, triple triple orbital. I mean, we're not going to take We're not going to take that. It's just kind of how this is going. Yeah, we just... See, that's, that's the one problem with this new Satan fight is that the, the hooves are so much slower. It is, uh... It's very easy to get bomb flight. Especially, and that's always been the trouble with the Satan fight, is that, like, you know, there's always the risk that the bomb flies are going to get you. 
I do appreciate that this fight was made a little bit more difficult, at the very least. And obviously we took a couple hearts of damage there. We will unlock Judas's tongue and head down into the dark room. And the interesting part about the dark room, much like the chest, obviously the chest being its equivalent, we get four red chests at the beginning. I imagine there will be a lot of people with some crazy stories of how the dark room gave them guppy and carried them through the end. I imagine that'll happen. This is a cool room. Two normal slots and two mega slots. Or super slots, as it is. I like the design. I'm a fan. It's also not that difficult of a room, so I'm okay with it. We'll get some poison bombs. Bombs are actually quite useful on this next fight, on the lost fight. So I'm, uh, I'm totally okay with that. Totally okay with that. Oh, and all chests give us stuff down here, too. That I did not know. Piggy bank is cool. Three famines. One down. That'll be two. And you, sir, are next. That'll be three. Excuse me, Mr. Fly. Thank you. Moving on. Two Megamas. Not my favorite. I think the worst part about this boss is the fact that he spawns Leapers. It would be really not so hard if he didn't spawn the Leapers. But he spawns Leapers. And that's annoying. Let's kill ourselves. Oh, sorry, not the Lost. The Lamb. The Lost is the secret character. I've been saying the Lost this whole time. My apologies. I'm a master of this fight, by the way, now. So even though my damage is ridiculously high, just know that I have worked tireless hours. And by tireless hours, I mean one run, I had nine lives, and I ended up fighting this dude way too many times. Um, I know this boss fight cold, so like that. See, that's never going to hit me ever again, because I know it's coming. And it ended many of my lives, and it made me very, very sad. <laughs> Basically, that brimstone attack, he makes the same face right before he's about to do anything. And the trick is to just, don't chance it. It could be the brimstone attack. Just get the fuck out of the way. Trust me. You just, why mess? You know, why mess about? Really, why mess about? I'll take that GG, my friends. And there's our fantastic ending scene, which is super loud! I don't know why they made the ending so loud. I'll turn that down for you guys. But thanks for watching, guys. That is the end of episode 3 of Girls Boy Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was a hell of a run. We got Lord of the Flies. We got Guppy. It was good times. Make sure you don't forget to leave a like on the video if you enjoy this stuff, guys. I am glad and will continue to make Binding of Isaac videos, whether you want them or not. Oh, you're so loud. We get the curved horn. And we'll go ahead just really quickly check out what we've accomplished on Judas. We've got a devil kill and a lamb kill. Thank you so much for watching, guys. As always, see you in the next one. Peace.